Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to some more S-Tuner, and uh, they added in a new car, actually. It's the R32 Skyline. Um, so we're going to be doing that today. Uh, let's see what we can do. I, I'm sure there won't be a ton of things we can do. Alright, so we can do the coupe or the sedan. And I want to do the four-door. Four-door Skyline. There we go. And, uh, yeah, there's not a whole lot of stuff, but... It's a new thing, uh, it, that's to be expected. Also looks like he's adding in a, uh, engine bay sort of thing that you'll be able to mess with. Um, not sure when that's going to happen, but it looks like it'll be a pretty cool idea. Um, which sort of kits do we have here? Alright, I think we're going to go with the Vertex. Either Vertex or the, uh, what was that, BN? I don't know. I think we're going to go with BN, actually. Um, I'm not entirely sure. Let's see what the rear looks like. Is there a rear Vertex? There it is. Let's see the difference. Oh yeah, I like BN much better. BN looks much more drift-like, if I'm honest. Uh, and then Sky Sir. What? Oh wait, that's gonna be coupe. That's gonna be too short. Yeah, I think that'll be too short. I don't know. Um, I'm sure they have it labeled for a reason. Oh, okay, it just looks different. Um, for the hood slash bonnet slash whatever region you're from. Um, let's go with stock. I don't think anything else would look very good on that, if I'm honest. Uh, so for guards, we can do stock or R. Which R just sort of looks wider, so we're going to go with R. Yeah, let's go with R. Uh, headlights, R32-1. And what's R32-2? Okay, it's just got like an orange side indicator. I think we'll go with that. Um, and for the taillights here, we've got the coupe. And I'm pretty sure the sedan are blacked out, right? Yeah. Uh, I'm not a fan of that. So let's go ahead and put the coupe on there. Um, now for the wing. What's R look like? Okay. And lip. Well, wow, it's a small lip spoiler compared to all the other ones. I was expecting sort of a uh, rocket bunny rear wing rear wing again um, but I guess they haven't really they haven't added a rocket bunny kit to this car at least I don't think they have they might have but I'm not entirely sure uh, so yeah let's go with lip I think that looks the best still um, we can do what do the grills look like okay so there's grill one and grill two they look the exact same and they look really dark I don't know that looks weird to me can I can I take that off please I don't like that there we go um our rear guards oh okay well that goes into the fourth door so we can't really do that um pumped rear guards uh, I guess we can't do these on the uh, on the saloon car um, unless they do have no I guess not so let's put the roof spoiler on there um, we can take the pumped rear guards off and can we what do the rear, fl rear flares look like? I guess we could do that. I mean, the door's not going to be able to open, but it doesn't matter. It's a race car, right? Uh, so that means we're going to have to put front flares on so it matches all the way around. And now we can put full cage, intercooler. Uh, I guess there's no oil cooler. I was going to put the oil cooler up in this empty area here where the grill was, but there is no oil cooler on this car. Um, and exhaust 3 maybe. What about exhaust 2? And what's exhaust 1 look like? 
Alright, let's go with three. And then move that up a little bit. There we go. There we go, I'm liking that. I just gotta change these to black. Sort of a... Come on. Sort of a throwback to the first uh, Skylines. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it looks alright. I'm not sure. We'll have to see it with some wheels on it. Um, but right now, I guess it looks it looks pretty good. Um, what wheels do we have? Mm, what's a 03S look like? What are these? I'm sure we've looked at those before. Uh, what's concave five? All right, let's let's mess with the rear here. I think these will look good on the rear, especially since they added a new option for concave uh, things right here. So we can do that. Uh, put some huge amount of dish on that. Oh yeah, look at that. That looks like it has too much concave right now, if I'm honest. So there's stock. Let's put it in to... There we go. Bring the camera up to two. And offset it correctly. There we go. I think that looks good. You know what? I'm going to remove these. I'm not a fan of those. I'm sorry. They just don't look good. Don't look very good on this car. So there we go, we got that sitting flush. You know, the suspension's too low. <laughs> it's like right on the ground, so. Let's bring that up a bit. Not a whole lot, but a bit. Um, and now we can adjust the offset more. There we go. Maybe we can put a little bit more camber on there because there's like, there's no poke on that at all. And uh, it doesn't look that great. There we go looking better I have to admit um, now for the front wheels we can E01 no uh, let's choose Oni Oni no I, I'm not choosing Oni I'm sorry I hate those three uh, three pronged wheels I've never been a fan of those yeah we can do mesh why not Wheel size 19, down to 30, and now camber negative 10. What's concave look like on this thing? Alright, that looks stupid. Um, is that, is that stock? <laughs> I can't really tell. Um, we just gotta go until it looks deformed. Alright, yeah, that's stock right there. Um, let's put the dish down to 5. And get the offset correct. I gotta scroll out. There we go. It's not bad. I'm liking it. I could I could be a fan. Um, now if we chrome these rear wheels. Come on, let me choose that. Chrome and black inside, or full chrome around? Um, let's go with black. I don't know. Doesn't look too bad. We can go black all the way around. Let's see what chrome looks like on the lip. What about just full up black? Yeah, let's do that. There we go. It looks nice. Now what about the colors? Uh, main color of the car... Oh, mate, wait. Maybe if we do a dark purple. Ah, yes, this is gonna look good. Maybe look good. Not entirely sure. And what... It, does chrome look alright? No. Let's try that. I mean, it doesn't look that bad, right? Trying something new. 
the drift colors. Well, they're not really the drift colors, but a lot of drift cars have this sort of style to it. Yeah, there we go. I think that looks pretty good. Um, now, I got told that one of these is for the roll cage. Ah, there we go. That's the roll cage right there. Because I was trying to paint the roll cage uh, earlier in one of the earlier episodes, and I couldn't, I couldn't figure out how to do it. So, there we go. We've now painted the roll cage to match the wheels. Um, what do these other highlights do? Nothing really that I can see. Um, and highlight number four. Yeah, I have no idea. Anyway, uh, we don't need to mess with any of that stuff. I don't know why the... There we go. The wing was selected for a second, and I wasn't entirely sure why. Uh, what's a blacked out bonnet look like? Hmm. It's not all that great. Yeah, let's go with it. it looks drift like. Looks like something you'd see drifting, right? I think so. Maybe we can do. Do the trunk like that too. Yeah, I'm uh. I have to say I like it. Uh, I'd use it on Forza, that's for sure. Too bad you can't have these crazy dish wheels and stuff. Um, I might actually go and build something like this on Forza right after this, because I am a fan. Although there's no body kits for the R32 on Forza, unfortunately. Uh, they went ahead and removed all those, which sucks completely. Anyway, guys, uh, thank you for watching. If you did enjoy, please leave a like. And also, make sure to leave a comment down below telling me what car you would like to see next. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.